ever closed your laptop in the evening and thought, wait, what did I actually do today? Yeah, you're not alone. Procrastination doesn't just steal your time. It leaves you with no idea where your time even went. Productivity starts with awareness. And that's exactly where Race comes in. My name is Daniel, and today I want to introduce you to a unique app designed to help you stay focused and do the right things at the right time. I'll walk you through the installation process and show you how to enjoy working on your laptop without interruptions. You'll also find out exactly how much time you're wasting in minutes and hours so you can put a stop to it. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. And now, let's dive in. What is RISE? So what is RISE? It is more like your own personal focus coach, quietly working in the background to help you understand how you're working and how you can do it better. The app runs in the background, tracking your activity without making you log every single thing. It spots patterns, points out distractions, and helps you make smarter decisions with your time. Whether you're juggling freelance gigs, cranking out assignments for school, or just trying to feel like you've got a handle on your day, RISE makes that whole process so much easier. This app helps you to understand where your time is going. You see that social scroll break wasn't just a minute, and you realize you're way more focused in the mornings than in the afternoons. That's the insight you connect on. With RISE, you're not guessing anymore. In a moment, I'm going to walk you through exactly how RISE works and show you how it can turn your chaos into clarity. Installation process. So, my friends, once you've downloaded the installer to your computer, it's time to launch the app. Let me show you how to do it. You open the file and click Get Started. After that, you'll see some basic information about the app. Just click Next a few times. Now we see that the app requires a specific OS version. Mine is compatible. At this stage, it's important to grant the app access to certain system functions. It needs specific permissions on your computer. So you'll be prompted to enable accessibility for RISE. I'm going to do that now. Most likely, you'll need to enter your admin credentials. Once you've done that, click Next. Allow it to send notifications. That's actually a key feature of the app. You'll also need to grant permission for it to manage the Do Not Disturb mode and prevent disruptions during focus sessions. Here, you'll see that RISE works with about a dozen different browsers. You'll need to allow access to these so it can track the time you spend on different websites and apps. You can also customize the hotkey combination. And finally, once you've confirmed all the settings, click Restart Application. How to use RISE for better productivity? We're now on the app's homepage. This is what it looks like. On the left-hand side, you'll see the menu. In the main area, you can view your activities, all tracked automatically. These include any entries you manually add, sessions you start yourself, and the built-in calendar. Pretty much everything you do on your computer, all your activities, gets logged here. It gives you a full comprehensive view of your productivity. On the right, there's the daily summary. This section uses a circular chart to display your time breakdown. It shows how long you stayed focused, how much time was spent in meetings, and how much went to breaks. Any untracked time appears in gray. Below that, you can see your top categories – entertainment, productivity, and writing. You'll have different ones, though. All your activities are tracked here, including time spent on specific projects and tasks. You can switch the chart view to weekly, monthly, yearly, or set a custom range. Now let's take a closer look at how to use RISE to boost your productivity. Just below, there's a Start Session button. You can begin a focus session, a meeting session, or a break session. Let's explore how the focus mode works. First, select the session length. We'll go with 20 minutes. You can also set a goal for what you want to achieve in that time. If you are working on a project, you can select it here. I'll choose Script Writing. You can also add specific tasks or assign the session to a client. And here's a feature I really love – background music. Finding the right playlist can be a challenge. So much of what's out there is jarring and distracting. This built-in selection is different. There are just 10 tracks, but they're all exceptionally well-suited for deep work. It's an amazing collection. For me, it's a total game-changer. For now, I'll go with silence and click Start Focus. Now, as you can see, the countdown timer appears and will remain visible in the top right corner of your screen. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. 
And now let's open the categories page. Here you'll find a detailed breakdown of how you've spent your time. What I especially love about this app is its stunning user interface. You can see just how elegantly it's designed. The color scheme is soft and non-distracting, and the timeline layout is unlike anything I've seen in other apps. There's this unique slider that lets you scroll through your day visually. Hover over one of the purple bars, and you'll see exactly what you were doing at that time. All of this is tracked automatically. You don't need to log it manually. Below that there's a pie chart, which some users might find easier to read. On the right you'll see a list of categories. How much time went to entertainment, documentation, messaging, and so on. And further right is a very handy section showing how much time you spent in each app. You can switch between weekly, monthly, and yearly views. There's also an activity log. Think of it like a browser history. But for your workflow, it logs everything so you can see exactly where your attention went and where time may have been wasted. Now here comes a key rise feature. Those you can input manually, projects, clients, and tasks. Right now we're on the projects page. You'll see a stacked bar chart showing when and how you've worked across your projects. There's also a pie chart and a list of your current projects. You can switch between a monthly or weekly view or open the full list of projects. Here we can see two, script writing and video production. The table below provides even more detail. Who's working on what, which is helpful for team setups, which client the project is for, its current status. You can change it to complete it how much time has been spent on it, and more. Let's try creating a new project so you can see how it's done. In this window you can enter the project name. I'll call this one Approve the Brief. You can choose a different color. Let's go with carrot orange this time. Just look at it. These are such tasteful, non-generic colors. Not like the bright blue and green tones you'd find in Google Docs. Everything here is beautifully designed. Scroll down a bit. You'll see options to select a client add a specific task, and input other relevant details. Once you're done, click Create Project. And there it is, listed in our table as Approve the Brief. Now guys, let's head over to the Clients page. The layout here mirrors what we saw under Projects. You can choose between Overview and All Clients in Table Format. The same applies to Tasks. You've got Overview and All Tasks with views for weekly, monthly, and yearly breakdowns. These are the core sections of RISE you can manage manually. And finally, friends, I want to show you the Productivity tab, the reason many of us install and use RISE in the first place. There are three subsections here – Trends, Goals, and Insights. We'll take a look at two of them. Let's start with Trends. This page gives you a detailed snapshot of how focused you have been during your sessions. As you can see, my current focus score is just 43.3. There are also some charts. For example, focus score per day. Below that is the total amount of time you've spent in focus sessions. On the right, you'll find some handy stats. Your average session time, how many minutes per day you typically spend focused, and other useful insights. At the top, there's a very helpful section called Top Interrupters. This shows which apps most often pull your attention away. In my case, it's YouTube. Of course, you can view this data by month or by year. And you'll find similar tabs for tracking your breaks and meetings as well. And the last thing I want to show you is the goal section. RISE offers a variety of templates to help you structure your workday. Options include minimum work hours, maximizing focus time, and the 6-hour workday. You can also set goals like limiting distractions, taking more breaks, or maximizing time spent on a specific category. Let's try minimum work hours. Click Create Goal. Give it a name and press Next. Then choose the date range during which you want to work toward this goal. I'll set it for one week, aiming to work at least 6 hours per day. Once you're done, hit Create Goal. And just like that, it's added to your list. What makes RISE stand out? Alright folks, let's talk about what really makes RISE stand out. First, it tracks your tasks and categories automatically, giving you real-time insights on how you're spending your day. No more stopping what you're doing to log another activity. The app handles that part for you. Next, RISE is always here to gently whisper, hey, get back to work when your focus starts to drift. Think of it like having a calm, no-judgment accountability buddy in your corner. 
keeping you aligned without being annoying. And here's something I love. Rise knows when it's time to pause. It doesn't just tell you to take a break, it suggests the right time for it. These smart breaks keep you recharged and productive, so you're not running on fumes by the end of the day. Last but not least, if you're navigating ADHD or just wrangling a busy schedule, RISE brings clarity without adding pressure. Its intuitive design and automation take the mental load off, helping you stay organized without the overwhelm. Final thoughts. All right, let's wrap it up with a quick summary. RISE isn't your typical productivity app, packed with features you'll never touch and notifications you just end up ignoring. It includes only the essentials, wrapped in a stunning interface. Since I started using RISE daily, the way I work has honestly shifted. It doesn't nag, it gently guides. It knows when I should take a breather and helps me keep a smooth, focused rhythm throughout the day without tipping into burnout. If you've been hunting for a tool that just knows how you work and helps improve it, RISE is definitely worth a look. Have you tried it already? I'd love to hear what your experience has been like. Has it changed how you approach your workday? Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.